Sky wings, sea wings, rain wings, night wings, mud wings. Seriously though, why? Hello dudes, jets, and Doritos, and welcome to a new series. Yes, another one. I am ambitious, I am aware. In this series, I will be redesigning all the wings of fire tribes slash showing you all my head cannons. Today, we are starting with the mud wings. The mud wings happen to be my least favorite of the tribes. Honestly, they just seem like a joke. All the other tribes live in a beautiful rainforest, a sky palace, or in the ocean. Like, even the volcano is pretty sick, but why a swamp? It's not even a pretty swamp. The mud wings are pretty much just bricks that like food. It started off as a funny little joke to have them all like food so much, but when it's their entire personality, it gets old pretty quickly. So here is what I would have done to add a bit more interest to Mudwing society, to add a little more spice to their culture. First of all, let's talk about their outward appearance. Cannon Mudwings are basic browns to camouflage. They tend to be pretty chunky, and some of them have semi-fireproof scales. That is it. I decided to base my design off two animals, an alligator and a hippo. I also gave them tusks, not for any specific purpose, I just think it suits them. I kept them fairly chunky to match their laid back lifestyle, but I also kept the powerful build since they are a stronger and bulkier tribe. Color wise, I had it remain the same, muddy colors, perfect for camouflage. I also added that they would most likely wear beaded, golden, and cloth jewelry. Next let's talk about mudwing culture. Canon, they like mud and they have a strong sibling bond since they lack parental guardians. Tui did not go in depth with Mudwing life in the books, but I do see a lot of potential. In the Guide to the Dragon World, she most likely added lots of details I'm unaware of, but I'm going solely off of what is written in the books. Mudwings are overall bland, but what I do find really interesting about Mudwings is their family dynamic. It is simply a really tight sibling bond. What makes it interesting is seeing how the characters change when one sibling gets harmed or even dies. It is really easy to see with Sora how impactful that is, and it's just really well written, and it shows the impact of grief really, really well. I also really enjoy the wholesomeness of having a big wings. It's just really cute. Outside of the family dynamics, mud wings don't have much else. They live in mud huts. They look like mounds of poop, I'm sorry. So to change that, I decided they build their huts within roots of trees, like willows and such. And to add interest to their homes, they can add carvings and artwork. Artwork is always a really huge aspect of various cultures, and I think the Wings of Fire series could really benefit from diving deeper into more tribal art, and maybe even add more traditions to each tribe. There really isn't much, but I think the series would be a lot more enjoyable and realistic if cultural elements would be introduced to the series. For Mud Wings, they would definitely use clay to make pottery and other sculptures. They could trade them with different tribes. I also think Tui could have added more on to the Mud Wing diet. Since they have a love for food, make them amazing chefs. Other tribes would travel just for the food. That would be awesome. I think there's a lot of potential in Mudwing cultures, but with what is written, it's just really boring. Anyways, thank you for listening to my rambling. What do you think of this? What are your Mudwing headcanons? Tell me your thoughts in the comments. I would love to hear them. And at that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I hope to see you again very, very soon.